guys, I am back in my kitchen today, finishing up my pantry at long last. I am super excited with how it turned out. It actually ended up being much more simple. I think I just built it up in my brain to be a lot more complicated than it actually was. And it helps that I found a really great product, these pull-out cabinet organizers that fit perfectly. Four screws in each one, so easy. And it just, it worked out great. So I'm gonna take you through, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, how it looked before, how it looks after, how I've organized everything, and I am pleased as punch. I have designated this area flanking our refrigerator as the pantry area. So these two long lower cabinets and then the two slightly less but still large upper cabinets. The area above the sink is for um, entertaining items that I don't access very frequently. So I just thought I'd give you a quick before swoop. I literally just threw everything in in the same bins that I had them organized in our old pantry, which was a traditional reach-in closet style. Um, so it's not organized at all. It was never meant to be this way. I'm just finally getting to it. I did remove one shelf so I could put our Berkey water filter here. I purchased this because A, it's the cleanest, most delicious water ever, and B, I wanted my children to be able to reach it themselves and, and get water for themselves. The water filter is in our fridge and it's high up and it just, I, I just, it's not what I wanted. So this has been working great and we love our Berkey. Love, love, love it. And I love that it fits right there. It's in, it's contained in a cabinet, but it's still really easy access. So behind that, I put in a shelf riser, which is gonna be really hard to see that I had, again, this is all stuff in the old pantry. And the stuff back there is, is like backup stuff of our most frequently used condiments and oils and nut butters um, with some overflow. And then I have two, these are deep cabinets. I think they're like 20, 22 inches deep or something like that. I have two bins deep baking um, stuff. There's some flour there and a, a baking bin that does not necessarily need to live there. I might find a new home for these sorts of things that are in here. These are um, the kind of things that I don't use very often. The cookie cutters, squeeze, bo squeeze bottles I use for, um, what's it called, frosting, cookie press. I mean, those can go in a different cabinet, I think, altogether. But we'll see how the space goes. And then the upper cabinets are things, um, kind of backup items, again, grains, um, pastas, things I don't necessarily access every single day. Over here, again, two bin deep system here with jars all from the old pantry system in the old house. Snacks, sweets, more snacks. Um, here's all the canned stuff. It's just not really working. And then there's more baking supplies in the bottom. And I'm actually probably gonna move the baking supplies to another cabinet, but I'll share about that in a separate video. And then up here, I kinda have some overflow, random s'mores stuff, that seems important. And then backup snacks in the back there, and this bin is all one stuff. So I kinda like, these bins in the top cabinet work more or less, I need to organize them a bit, but they work more or less for kind of more longer term storage stuff. But what I really want to focus on today are these shelves here in these two longer lower cabinets uh, because it's just not, it's just hard to access thing. I can't, can't see everything and, and it's just hard to access. I bought these pull-out cabinet organizers on Amazon. They're by Simple Human, which is a brand I know and trust for many years. I've bought many of their products and they're just the right size and, and I like that they have a something that catches stuff that I can wipe out so things don't just fall through to the bottom. Um, you know, with a drilled in um, pull out organizer that be might be hard to open. So I'm gonna pull everything out of the cabinets and see how this is gonna work out. Let's do that together.
well, the project is complete. It really didn't take me very long, maybe total an hour to do all of the drilling and kind of reorganizing of things. But um, I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. I think everything looks really nice and neat. I've definitely spread things out a little bit more um, because I have the room. I'll just go through really quickly and kind of show you what's in each um, shelf now. I love these. These are great. Four screws, super easy to drill in, super sturdy, and they slide in and out. What's better than that? And I love that the mat on the bottom comes out. You can wash it, but it's also just easy to wipe clean. So on this side, this is basically snacks and dog food for, for the most part. This is all sweets, which is mildly embarrassing. Um, I promise we don't eat that much candy, but I don't know about you guys. I have certain family members who give my kids lots of candy, like these really big candy bars. They don't eat, but I don't want to throw them out because it feels wasteful and I just don't know what to do with them. But anyway, I keep all of our desserts and things in jars. I just like to be able to see them, otherwise they tend to get lost. This one is all of our dry snacks, so crackers, chips, goldfish, um, nuts and seeds in the middle. And I did use some of the, some of the shelves, I didn't use the partitions. These particular drawer organizers or pull out cabinet thingies came with the organizers, but you know, you can use them or not. So I basically put all of the kids snacks in the front and then nuts and seeds and dried fruit in the middle here. And then these things in the back are more my things like my, um, cliff bars and, um, the Triscuits I really like when I want a cracker. And then I have some jars and things down here. Canned soup. Well, it's a box of soup, I guess. Salsas. I would normally have, I mean, I probably need to stock up on some things, but um, extra olives, extra artichoke hearts, things I use in salads that I usually have one extra of in, you know, like in backup. Um, otherwise I keep in the fridge when they're open and then all of our nut butters and honeys and jams and things like that in the front here that are not in the refrigerator and then I went ahead and moved all of the dog food treats this is all Winnie stuff again she I should have a backup thing of food for her so I need to go to the pet store and get another bag of food because we're almost out too but the idea of moving this down I had it up higher in the cabinet is that the kids can start to feed her and be in charge of that um, as one of their, um, you know, tasks around the house. So that's what's in this lower cabinet. And in the upper cabinet, I didn't change this. I just changed the bins out so they would all match and be the dark brown. But essentially, I have um, backup items. So all snacky dry goods in the back. And these bins just pull out. This is what I was using before. It works fine. I don't access this stuff very often, uh, but the front bin has, you know, like extra chia seeds and so much granola, so much granola. Um, and then I cleared the stuff out of the top cabinet to open up a little bit more space there. That's where my roasting pan is because it doesn't fit anywhere else and I don't use it that often. So it felt like a good place to put it in my cake stand. But there's room there to put something else if I wanted to. And on the other side, I was able to clear out all of that stuff that was basically overflowing on this shelf with the Berkey filter. I wanted to keep this set up as it was because like I mentioned, that really works for us um, right now. And then I left the things essentially that I wanted to keep in here, the extra oils and vinegars and condiments and things like that. Um, there's actually still room behind there. There's a little decaf coffee, some homemade breadcrumbs, extra soy sauce packets. Um, so there's definitely room for more things. Or I could have less things, you know? I mean, some people think I have way too many things in my pantry. Some people think I don't have the right things in my pantry. Uh, I have the things that I have. And that's just the end of that. So what I did essentially is move all of the cooking related things over here and more of the snacky things on the other side. So this is all of my canned goods, essentially. Beans in the back, I left room because I am missing, I need more beans than I don't have any black beans. And um, looks like I could use some stock up. All of my kind of tomato based stuff in the middle there. 
and anything else in the front. We use pumpkin a lot, we use coconut milk a lot. Uh, better than bouillon is essential, obviously. And I wasn't really sure what to do in the bottom and I decided to move all of my smoothie stuff down here because I had the room for it. Now this is something in the future I could swap out and I could move that back up the ca to the higher part of the cabinet if I so desire. But it, I've been, you know, drinking more smoothies lately. The kids really like smoothies too, so I have my protein powders and different powders and things I use in smoothies. Easy access right there. And that is what that cabinet looks like. And I'm pleased as punch with it. And then up here, again, I did not change this because it was working just fine. The back bin has um, rice and beans and lentils and quinoa. And then this one has pastas, noodle, dried pasta, things like that. I did go ahead and, sh and switch up the up the upper cabinet a bit. There's room in the back that I think once I finish establishing my baking cabinet on the other side of the kitchen, I will have enough room to tuck another one of those big bins behind all of those oats and things to put extra bags of flour and sugar if I have them on reserve, um, aside from what fits in the cabinets. Uh, but uh, I'll show that in another video. But I went ahead and decanted my rolled oats into this container which came in a set that I bought um, mainly to put my baking stuff in. This bin has some pancake mixes in it, which is handy to have. So I actually access the rolled oats quite a bit, but it works out because when I'm making my um, overnight oats, I'll just grab this and then open the fridge and grab the rest of the ingredients. And that's where I was keeping the oats before. They were just still in the bag. So it's kind of nice to have them in a different container. I might get another one of those containers to put the quick oats in. I haven't quite decided yet, but anyway, still functional and room to grow behind there for extra baking goods if I need the space. This is the baking stuff I pulled out. I went through everything. I tossed anything that was like super expired or just needed to go. And um, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna rearrange these two cabinets here in a way that I can, I think I'm gonna put, make the first two shelves in this cabinet. Um, baking, all baking stuff, which will just be so convenient because we actually bake quite a bit <laughs> as it turns out. And um, I have all of my baking stuff over here. I've got my mixer and all of my pots and pans and bowls and whatnot in the cabinets right here. So I will, um, I'll let you know how that goes and I will report back on it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my updated pantry with the new pull-out organizers, which are just so awesome. I really love them. They're bringing me a lot of joy right now. Gotta focus on the little things that bring you joy. Uh, and I am excited to do a baking cabinet, and I think I will share about that with you guys next week. I'm gonna finish that up, um, and I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, we're almost, we're wrapping up the kitchen, and I wanna, I really want to finish organizing my closet, so that's probably what you'll see next. And then we are going to unpack the office. I'm not going to let that sit any longer. Uh, and we will do that together and we'll organize it together. And then it's almost the holidays. My goodness, time, it keeps going. Even despite, despite all odds, <laughs> it just keeps going. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. If you missed... Some of my other kitchen videos, I will link them below. I showed you how I organize my drawers and my cabinets under my sink. Uh, I just love how everything is, is coming together. And I look forward to sharing more organizing pursuits with you. I hope you are well, and I will see you real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.